So Qualcomm has just launched another upper mid-range chipset, the Snapdragon 7S Gen 2, and it's a bit confusing whether it's a downgrade or an upgrade because I really don't understand the Qualcomm strategy here. I mean, if you compare the Snapdragon 7S Gen 2 to the Qualcomm Snapdragon 7 Gen 1, which was released 1.5 years ago, you will see that the Qualcomm Snapdragon 7 Gen 1 is actually performing better than this chipset in N22 version 10 and Kigbin 6 benchmarks. However, one area where the Snapdragon 7S Gen 2 excels is the AI capabilities of this chipset. So let's see how that plays out and how it might make this chipset better than the previous generation, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 7 Gen 1. So watch this video till the end as I will explain everything in details. The Snapdragon 7 S Gen 2 benchmark showcased its performance across different categories. I mean, in the N22 version 10, it achieved a total score of 608,466, which is amazing for this upper mid-range chipset. And breaking down the scores, the CPU scored 190,326, and the GPU scores 118,222, and the memory scores 158,281, and the UX scores 140,685. The overall total score for the Snapdragon 7 S Gen 2 is impressive, giving you a total score of 608,466. This chipset also performs well in Geekbench 6. It achieved a single core score of 1017 and a multi core score of 2954. The Snapdragon 7S Gen 2 performance in various real world tasks is noteworthy. It excels in asset compression with a rate of 159 MB per second and demonstrates strong browsing capabilities, achieving 73.3 pages per second. HTML5 browser performance. The PDF rendering speed is impressive with 125.2 megapixels second. In terms of image related tasks, this chipset offers competitive performance with 56.1 image per second for image detection and 96.2 megapixels second for HDR, 9.56 images a second for background blur and 26.5 images a second for photo processing. Additionally, it shows its capability in ray tracing also, scoring 4.33 megapixels second. The Snapdragon 7 S Gen 2 has a total of 8 cores, including 2 ultra fast cores based on Cortex A78 clocked at 2.4 GHz, and 4 power efficiency cores based on Cortex A55 clocked at 1.9 GHz. This chipset is based on ARM version 8.2 A instruction set architecture. Notably, this chipset is also power efficient because it's built on a 4 nanometer processor node by Samsung, which means the processor will produce less heat with its full utilization. In terms of graphics processing, it utilizes the Adreno 710 GPU, which belongs to the Adreno 700 architecture. This specification highlights the chipset processing power and efficiency for various tasks and applications. The RAM of the Qualcomm Snapdragon 7 S Gen 2 is based on a dual channel LPDDR5 RAM with a memory frequency of 3200 MHz. This chipset can support maximum amount of RAM of up to 16 GPs and supports two storage variants, one with the UFS 2.2 for mid-range and other with the UFS 3.1 for upper mid-range smartphones. The Qualcomm Snapdragon 7 S Gen 2 is equipped with an advanced neural processor for AI-driven tasks and believe me, it did really well job here. As I mentioned earlier, in benchmarks and because of this AI capabilities it's better than the other upper mid-range chipsets like the Qualcomm Snapdragon 778G, Qualcomm Snapdragon 780G and the Qualcomm Snapdragon 7 Gen 1. This chipset supports a maximum display resolution of Full HD Plus at 120Hz refresh rate and supports various HDR formats like Dolby Vision, HDR10 Plus and HDR, delivering sharp and vibrant visuals. In terms of camera capabilities, this chipset can handle cameras of up to 200 megapixels with its triple 14 bit RAW ISP, providing excellent photographic potential. For the video, it can record videos at 4K at 30 frames per second and can also play back at same resolution at 4K at 30 frames per second. This chipset also supports popular video and audio codecs. Like for the video, it supports H.264, H.265 and VP9. And for the audio, it supports AAC, AIFF, CAF, MP3, MP4, and WAV, enhancing multimedia experiences. The Snapdragon 7 S Gen 2 offers a robust connectivity options featuring the X62 modem. It supports both 4G and 5G networks, with 4G capabilities reach up to 8EK18. This chipset provides an impressive download speed of up to 2.9 GBs per second and upload speed of 1.6 GBs, ensuring fast and efficient data transfer. For wireless connectivity, it supports Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.2 for seamless wireless device connectivity. 
So this chipset really excels in almost everything, especially AI capabilities, making it better for both gaming and everyday usage. We will witness its capabilities in the Redmi Note 13 Pro as I'm working on that smartphone review. And in the Redmi Note 13 Pro, it performed exceptionally well in terms of gaming and day-to-day -day usage. Therefore, it is indeed an excellent choice for mid-range smartphones such as Redmi Note 13 Pro. So that's all for this review. So if you enjoyed this video, then please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to never miss a new video from my channel. And if you like this video, then give it a thumbs up and leave your thoughts in the comment section below. So my name is Hamza, this is Sales Tech and I'll see you in the next video. If you want to watch the full review of the Qualcomm Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 2, then that is right here. And if you want to watch the full review of the Qualcomm Snapdragon 7 Gen 2, then that is right here. Thank you for watching.